I'm Alexander Nanu. I'm a strategic innovation practitioner working for InnoSpa International. And I also teach uh, innovation foresight and business design at Rutman School of Management and also a professor at the Ontario College of Art and Design. So this is what I do. I teach companies what is the new context, what does it actually mean? The fact that you can remix, you can mash it, you can... The digital code is different than everything else. So how can we prosper and, you know, create awareness of the benefits of the brand in this new context? That's the whole point. Media is only one. There is no new, no old, no past media. There is only current things. When you search and you find, we call that the media for pleasure of that moment. Once that behavior cycle is complete, you find it, the next round you have to improve on it. Somebody has to understand that you will not accept the same thing. It needs to be changed. So that's where content comes in. So content is the dynamic, synchronic, has to change. Has to understand that once I watched 15 billion things on YouTube, which happen to be of great quality, I demand way more from you as a content producer. YouTube had a primitive technology, nothing was new, but us embracing it was the disruption. So that is a, a point of view that if not understood, people will strive to create new technology. It's not about technology, it's about, the, it's about desire. So find out what is it we want, and we want very simple things. Pleasure being number one, hope is number two, the hope for pleasure being number three. So, etc. So it is a challenging move for a lot of people, business mostly. I believe business is the variable and you are the constant. Your behavior, your search for moments of pleasure. Life is about desire, it's about you searching pleasure. Pleasure has many forms and determine is just one. Being interactive is being a knowledge that exists by a machine or an individual and having the power to control their actions uh, and my actions. In other words, I would like any kind of interface uh, to be affected by my interaction with it. So if my interaction changes the interface, it forces me to change, and that's an interactive problem. Things need to change when I walk in a room because a human being has entered a space, and the space should understand that. So we have ambient technologies that understand that right now. 